Hey, what's going on today, everybody? Today, we're going to check out Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Thank you so much to Ubisoft for the code. I can't wait to get into it. Let's check it out and see what we think, all right? I'm not big into turn-based combat games at all, but we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. I'm actually pretty excited about it. It looks like they implemented a lot of changes. And it looks really, really good. So I'm actually pretty excited to jump into it. So let's see what we got here. Just castle. All the rabbits making um, bushes of themselves, it looks like. Ah, look at the Donkey Kong. That's hilarious. There's one in the bush right here. Princess Peach. What's Mario Rabbit Peach Beepo, I'm so relieved to see you. The rabbits are especially exuberant today. Someone has misplaced Mario Rabbit's overalls. They're missing, and he's too embarrassed to come out from the bush he's hiding in. Oh, if I could catch the thief who took my overalls, where are they? Can you please look and find Rabbit Mario's overalls? Try checking the trees or the bushes. Consider it done, my beloved princess. We are definitely do it. Serve. Consider it done, my beloved princess. Perfect. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this time he floats over your head instead of being in front of you. That was really disorienting last time I played this. Well, the first one. I enjoyed the first one quite a bit, to be honest with you, even though I don't like turn-based combat. I'm just such a huge Mario fan. I'll do anything that has to do with Mario. But I really didn't like how disorienting it was to have the <clears throat> robot in front of you instead of somewhere a little bit better. So I think on top looks a lot better. Your movement feels smoother and not as awkward. So we found the overalls. Let's take them um, to the guy in the bush. There we go. <clears throat> I'm back. Ta da! Back in business. By the way, I'm sorry if I sound stopped up. I am very, very stopped up from the cold I've been getting over, so pardon me. Oh, you found your overalls, Rabbit Mario. I knew I should have hid them somewhere else. Aha! Hmm. Ah, yes. You want to be just like Rabbit Mario, but only one of us can look this good in casual alternative to pants. Yay. All is well that ends well. Now we can enjoy this beautiful day in peace and harmony. Yeah, right. <laughs> With our latest adventure complete, we can now kick back and relax, safe in the knowledge that everything is under control. Sure. Ha <laughs> hmm. ha. Uh -huh. Aww. Oh, it's one of the little sparks. <clears throat> What's up, little guy? The girl? Uh oh. <clears throat> the heck is that thing? We're gonna find out. <laughs> of course. Uh oh. What happened? No way she like died, right? Each looked mad. Kind of weird. Uh oh. There's Rabbit Peach. I bet we can save her. Oh, it looks like our first battle. Cool. <clears throat> Don't panic, 
Rabbit Peach. We'll just stroll casually along the back of this flying creature and reach your location in no time. Uh-oh. Strike the words casual, stroll, and don't panic. We got hostiles! Mario, take cover and don't get caught out in the open. Move from cover to cover and remember to attack. All right, we can do it. Here we go. Okay, get behind cover to protect your hero from enemies. Of course. While taking cover, you can aim with your ZL at enemies and hit them while remaining protected. Oh, yeah! All right about this. Okay, so you have, instead of the grid system they had last time, you can just run around freely. So you have this whole area you can run around in, and there's no specific spot I have to stick at. But it wants me to get behind cover and then use my left trigger. I'm going to use my dual slingers. Fires two projectiles, either at one target or at two separate ones. Confirm the first target to select a second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we've selected both. Oh, cool. So he goes between the areas of cover. To take them both out. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, so our cover's gone now. So now... Maybe we should move right here. Do the same thing. Hit him with both. I'll take him out. Oh, yeah. We should, still should be safe from this guy. Yeah, he's gonna go to the other side, so we should be okay. Perfect. Rabbit Peach is within reach. Focus on getting to her now by moving to the tip of the mantis tail. Okay. We will get there. Okay, we're gonna do this again, just like we did with the other guy. Take him oh, out with both, and he's done. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I really like the the free walking system they have on here. That's so much better than the grids. I'm just really not a big fan of that. But this is really cool. Sorry, I keep looking over my phone. I have important stuff coming in. Anyways, okay, destroy Manta's weak points. What the heck are those things? Oh. Rabbit Peach, you're safe! Despite the mysterious malevolent energy sabotaging our weapons! <laughs> She's still texting. It's like today's youth. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Using dash, we can jar those egg-like things loose once they're in your possession. I wonder if you can throw them dash will hurt people. Protuberances. It's weak. So can I dash like without? So that's not even a move. That's just like an actual like attack I can do. Oh, okay. I totally missed him, but it still worked awesome. Okay, so what am I doing now? Okay, so I can switch to Mario and do the same thing with Mario. Okay, I'll take that, grab this, throw it in his eye. Perfect. Okay, so now what do I do? Run Mantis speed points. Oh, okay, it's the enemy's turn. Yeah, we gotta pass over. I guess I should have put him behind cover before I did that. I didn't even see him. The last week Tell me about him. That gap. Oh, we'll get, it. Find a way to get over it. Time for some team jumping. Team jumping? Use team jump to reach the last Dark Mess Egg. During a team jump, your heroes are free to move around while in the air. Just be aware of the timer. Gather your heroes close to perform a team jump. By standing still next to one, next to another hero, you can reveal their maximum team jump distance. When a hero enters into another hero's area of movement, this area will be highlighted in yellow. The shoe icon for the latter will be highlighted as well. Okay, so we just get close to each other, and we can do that, but I... I feel like we need to take this guy out first. Is it not? Okay. I don't think it's gonna let me. Okay, I'm confused. It wants me to do a team jump, but... I don't know what to do, game! Can we take that guy out first? Okay, I'm confused. 
I guess we'll pass the turn. I don't. You're all fast forwarding. Okay, so now that was weird. Okay, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. I don't know if it glitched or what the first time. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. They come out. Again, we totally yes. missed him, but it worked. Okay, cool. So we didn't have to take that guy out at all. That's weird. Oh no. Oh, Mario. Just killing it. Never get enough of Mario. Uh oh. Uh oh, what do you do? Oh, cool. So he must have powered him up or something. I guess we're gonna find out. Shot in the darkness. Okay. Feet all of them. I think we can do it. Our weapons have been reactivated. Time to take cover, take aim, and fire at those baddies. We can do it. Just beware that this dimension works quite differently than our own. You cannot move after you shoot. All right, let's go. When an enemy is behind partial cover, you have a 50% chance to hit them. Percentages will appear along your intended line of fire. Some weapons can bypass partial cover to hit an enemy when they are behind them. Remember, after you shoot, you cannot move anymore during that turn, so be sure to take cover first. Okay. Cool, okay, so we'll get behind here. Okay, hit him, and hit him. Okay, so, because it's 50%, so it hit him, but it did not hit the other one. Gotcha. So it looks like sh her gun can arc over cover. Cool. Okay, so we took him out in one turn. Awesome. Alright, so they're taking out my cover. So now we're gonna take her. We're gonna go right here. What we'll do... Take out one of those. Her. Okay, so we took out the one that had partial health. So now we'll go over here with Mario and we're gonna have to hit him twice. Okay, we got him once. Took out his cover though. Okay. We're just gonna arc it over and take him out real quick. Make it a little easier. And sit down. Awesome. Okay. Cool. It looks like every time we get kills, we get those sparks. And I assume they help us out, do something. We'll find out. <clears throat> uh oh. What is this? Some Marvel multiverse stuff? Oh crap! <clears throat> what? In what is that? Was a huge octopus. Boombas. They're so going to obey and follow the weird octopus thing. Yep, there it is. Uh-oh. It's okay, we got this. And long into the unknown. Alright. There's gotta be some other mechanic for taking them out, right? Do I just dash through them, probably? That vicious, horrible monster is Cursa. We barely escaped it. Now it won't stop chasing us. <gasps> this Cursa is well out of range. <laughs> it's kind of weird how the only voiced character is Beepo. I can help. I can give Mario the ability to power up his attacks. It'll even have the same effect on his friends. Oh, we'll cool. Take all the help okay. we can get. Mario, be sure to see what this new kind of jarring. Can do. Remember the Nintendo gonna Nintendo. Your signature techniques at your disposal. I have a feeling you're going to need them. 
Okay, so now that you can choose between attack ZL and technique ZR and sparks L, remember that each hero has two action points per turn. Don't forget about dash. These movement abilities do not consume action points, but they have their own counters. Okay, cool. So to reach a better position, remember that you can use team jump. It's a movement ability and does not consume action points, but they have their own counters. Okay. Okie Okay, so we can just dash right through all three of them. That's awesome. I'm going to jump. I'm actually going to go over here. Oh, no. Okay, so now I totally messed that up. We're going to hit him. Uh, or we hit him twice. Okay. He's stronger than the good one, so it makes more sense to take him out first. Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're going to take her right here. We're going to take out this guy so he doesn't hit us. Oh, no. I'm going to take him out totally. Okay, cool. We took that. Okay. So, I think. What does ZR do? Heals the hero and all allies within range. Awesome! Oh, cool. So, they have a little animation for this. I sincerely hope it doesn't do it every single time that you activate that. I'm sure it does. Okay, so now. Okay, so what does this one do? Okay, so it will. Up the attack damage of everybody. Okay. Okay, so the Goombas can just sprint up and dash into you, essentially. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dash into those three. We're going to go over here where we have some cover. We're going to hit him. Hope that we act okay. Um, I switch over to Mario. I'm gonna hide here for a minute. Okay, we're gonna take him out. Look at that. Oh yeah. Not quite what I wanted to do, but okay. Okay. Let's go. Line of sight or dealt plus one or damage. So is this like his ultimate? I guess? Oh, dang it. Okay, so I should have used that before I did all the attacks. Wait, no? Oh, it still does the attack. That's kind of weird. Okay, so neither of them hit me. Okay, so I'm going to move up. I'm go here and take him out. Maybe not. I told y'all, I don't play these games, so I'm not good at it yet. Yep. Let's take him out. It's been real. Alright, we gotta just let them do their turn. Ah. Alright, um. Just dash into him, right? I guess we can only dash into him once, though. Okay, so now... Now we just take him out. You know. Awesome, man. I really like the battle system. It's actually really, really cool. I'm surprised I'm into it as much as I am. It's awesome. So you can actually replay that battle. So if you're not happy with how things turned out, you can just play again and you can totally redo it. That's pretty cool, too. Uh oh, Rabbit Mario. And I think Rabbit Luigi? Is that who I saw? Oh, that's cool. Kinda like Star Wars, right? Ish. Okay, cool. So we have like a home base. That's kinda cool. Welcome, I don't think Mario the last one had anything like this. It is fortunate that you a are second voice character. That's pretty cool. Hey, hello. 
now. Remember me, the entity who created you? I'm alive too. Also huh. fortuitous, but with a critical success factor that is lower in comparison by 31.732193%. It's a very specific number. <laughs> Forgive Jeannie here for her arrogance, everyone. As the ship's new artificial intelligence, she just became self-aware yesterday. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot more testing to do. Obviously. Now we're an emergency situation here. I <laughs> hey, widow fella. Archie Sparkly, did you come on board with Mario? Interesting. It appears that this creature is equal parts rabid and luma. It contains a massive amount of harnessable energy as a result. I suspect there are more of them scattered throughout the galaxy, though without more data, the exact number cannot be determined. How could this have happened? Rosalina would have never allowed this. Mama, she's in trouble because of Cursa. Please help her, please. Please! Oh no, Rosalina, something terrible must have happened. Cursa! What happened? Conquering the galaxy using a corruptive energy called Darkness. That's what happened. I can pinpoint the epicenter of this activity, Cursa's stronghold. It will take okay. our ship an eternity to travel the distance between our current location and this stronghold. However, using a purified form of Darkness energy, we could create a series of warp tunnels that would make such travel almost instantaneous. Just what I was about to suggest to our friend here. Hmm, what do we call your kind? Aha! How about rabid lumas? I like it. Really? Because objectively speaking, I think rabid lumas is kind of perfect, no? Yes, it is. Bleh. It stinks. No, it doesn't. The closest planet within range is Beacon Beach. The dark mess has already spread there. Not enough data to define the level of danger. Please, Genie. Adventure may be new to you, but not to us. I expect the level of difficulty of this mission to be... Okay, remember, I'm not good at these. We're gonna go relaxed. Of course I reserve the right to change my mind at any point during our mission. Oh, so you can change it anytime. Okay, that's cool. Regardless, with the like any game should have that nowadays the for sure. Road ahead will be made just a little smoother. I believe the consensus was sparks. No, whatever. What matters? Whatever. Is help. Listen, now that Cursor knows they're with us, I bet it will never bother us again. What's Cursor up to now? I need the energy of those creatures. Bring them to me. Uh oh. This is a cool looking planet. A nice beachy area just with a bunch of rain. Oh, rabid Luigi. Okay, y'all. So that's all I have for you today. We're definitely going to keep playing this game. We're going to get into it. We're going to keep going through. I assume there's different planets or different worlds that you go through. 
I know we didn't do it for very long today, but um, we're definitely going to keep going, keep going along with this, and we're going to keep going through this plan, that's for sure. So I really, really enjoyed it. Thanks again so much to Ubisoft for the code. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, leave a comment below, like the video, be sure to follow us, be sure to subscribe to us. I really appreciate everybody, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day.